Suspense, suspense, and more suspense. That basically describes this Edgar Allan Poe award-winning book. The Weirdo by Theodore Taylor is a wonderful story about a kid who's an outcast who tries to step forward to spearhead the Conservation Act between environmentalists and hunters over the Powhatan, a natural wildlife refuge. This is a powerful story that shows how an outcast can not only prove something to the world, but also to himself. Don't miss out on the superb mystery, The Weirdo. Bud Caldwell is a 10-year-old black boy in Flint, Michigan in the year 1936. He has no mother and he is on the run. With him, he has a suitcase filled with his own personal needs, his book that he wrote called Bud Caldwell's Rules and Things for Having a Funner Life and Making a Better Liar of Yourself, and a clue to who his father really is. This clue gives him reason to believe that his father may be connected in some way to a famous band. Join Bud in his suitcase in an exciting journey to find his father. I'm a good kid. Joey Pizza is weird. When Joey gets worked up, all the roles set by his mother and teachers go right out the window. Joey knows he's a disappointment to all the people he cares about. His mom has warned him that if he keeps acting up, he could be transferred to a special ed center for his problem kids. This could be the end of the line. As Joey himself would say, can I get back to you on that? To find out if Joey's going to end up in a special ed class for a problem some children, read the Laugh-A-Lot book by Jack Gantz. I can't tell what's going to happen next. My seizure begins to spin slowly through me. What will my dad do? Stuck in Neutral by Terry Truman throws you into the rough life of 14-year-old Sean McDaniel who is born with cerebral palsy, a condition that causes him to have no control over his muscles. To everyone, Sean is just a nearly brain-dead being, but no one really knows what goes on in his head. He has the ability to remember anything that he has ever heard. Since he can't communicate, people think he is a retard. Worst of all, his dad is planning to kill him. Follow Sean in this harsh journey through life with his disability. In a world ruled by a dictator with a degrading society, a third child is born. Why is this important, you ask? In this society, only two children are allowed. Luke grows up happy in a small farm far away from people until a subdivision is put up beside their farm. Suddenly, his life is transformed. He must hide from everyone now. If anyone sees him, it will bring about his death. Confined to a small, single window attic, he believes he will go crazy until he sees a face where there should be none. And worst of all, the face sees him, among the hidden by Margaret Haddix. Ten little Indian boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. And that was how it all began. Stranded on an island, ten people find they cannot communicate with the mainland. As if in fulfilling the morbid nursery rhyme, ten little Indians, the people die. One by one. Written by the most popular murder mystery novelist of all time, and then there were none as the most accomplished and well-known novel by Agatha Christie.